Hello and welcome to ZAPYard.com. We are ready with our next course which we have named Master SAP OData. ZAP Yard takes pride in the quality of SAP OData tutorials and videos which we have in our website and our YouTube channel. And with this paid instructor-led training on SAP OData, we want to go one step further. This will be a deep dive course on SAP OData where we will try to learn almost all aspects of SAP OData which the ABAP developers would need in their real SAP projects. We will commence the classes with the strong fundamentals on the OData concepts. We will talk about the SAP NetWeaver gateway and where it resides in the SAP application layer. We will learn about the HTTPS protocol and we will understand why OData is called Open Data Protocol. RESTful, stateless, client-server architecture are some of the jargons used in OData. We will try to help you clarify these words and boost your confidence. Also, we will talk about the different deployment options like embedded or hub and their advantages and disadvantages. After the initial concepts, we would directly jump to EDM model, that is, entity data model which is the heart of SAP OData. We will learn the different ways to create SAP OData and their pros and cons. Finally, we will create our first OData service from scratch. We will implement it, register it and test it in SAP GUI client and also on the browser. The trainer will show what needs to be done to perform the crude operations in SAP OData. Yes, we will cover all crude operations that is create read update and delete queries we will also learn the usages of associations and navigations and cardinalities of odata with some practical examples we will also check how to get both header and item data in one single call we will also cover examples involving entity navigations like using dollar expand in the uri in real project, we do not do simple read and write. Rather, we have deep structures to read and update, and they are not straightforward. Our trainer will hold your hands and walk you through this get entity, get expanded entity, and create deep entity. You should not miss these sessions. Also, function import is, import is very useful technique to create O data in SAP. The trainer will showcase it with some good use cases. When the front end consumes the O data, they often need lots of other add-ons in the queries to meet the complex business requirements. We will explore some of them like filter, paging, sorting, select etc. in the O data service, which of them are auto-handled by SAP and some of them which ABAP developers have to handle programmatically. Media handling is one topic which most trainers and in other institutes skip. But at ZAP Yard, we always like to cover what is most needed by the developers. And file upload, download and preview is a very practical topic which we cannot skip. We will learn in details how to handle the files in SAP OData services. We always believe that a good developer is not one who writes good program but one who can analyze and figure out the root causes of someone else's developments. To empower our participants with these skills, the trainer will show how to find and analyze the error logs. He will also teach the tracing techniques and how to play around with the cache for the OData services. Core data services is one of the pillars of S4 HANA. Almost all Fury apps delivered with S4 HANA are based out of CDS and those Fury apps will have OData services based out of CDS. In this course, we will learn how to create OData services from normal CDS and also from CDS with input parameters. Trust us, consuming CDS with input parameter is tricky and we will master it in this course. We will also check how the OData is created and consumed for CDS with associations and how to access them via navigations. Crude operations which involves both read and write can be done in OData services based out of CDS view. 
you just need to take the help of BOPF. The trainer will cover this topic as well. Annotation is an integral part of core data services. In this course, we will learn how to do the normal search and fuzzy search in O data services using CDS annotations. Usually, when we talk of O data services based out of CDS, we assume it is the auto exposed O data from CDS annotations where we make O data dot publish as true. But we can create O data service from CDS using traditional method as well in SEGW. We will learn about it in our training. When our O data service is exposed to the front end, more than one users can call them at the same time. So lock management has to be there to prevent unwanted interference and data inconsistency. The trainer will cover the e-tags and concurrency techniques in this deep dive course. Finally, before we end the course, we will understand the OData v4 services. We will also create and implement OData v4 services. You will surely appreciate these lessons. Also, the trainer will teach how to de delete OData services from service catalog and also cover how to create and delete OAuth scope of an OData service. Trust us, this will be an action-packed deep dive training on SAP OData services. We are positive. We will surely help all our participants to not only become comfortable with SAP OData, but also master it. Let us look into some important date, time and other information. The first day of the training is on June 26, 2021 at 7.30 am IST. This time is GMT plus 5.5 hours. So if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to join their live classes. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. We are open for registration till June 17th, 2021 and the payment of the fee and enrollment process should be complete by June 21st, 2021. The link to enroll for this training is in the description section of this video. Each class will be around 2.5 hours and the whole class will be around 25 hours. Recordings of the class will be provided after every live session and participants will have lifetime access to these recordings. The S4HANA 1809 server access will be provided till August 15, 2021. The server access is included in the training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it. Please check the description section of this video for the course fee and other details. Knowledge of basic ABAP programming is the prerequisite for this course. If you are a fresher in SAP ABAP, please do not join this course. If you still have any queries, questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mail at the red zapyard.com. Thank you very much and hope to see you live on the training day.